All right, Shalom. 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 The start, I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakhadash. The Baana to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Ikeem teaching his word through the four corners in truth and sincerity. Like I said, Shalom. 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 And you know, we are back another week. Prophets out of downfall of Esau's kingdom and to wake up the so called black Latinos and Native Americans to who they truly are according to the scriptures. Okay, you know, we in a time of, hey, we in the end, man. Okay, prophecies coming to pass. Okay, we're in the last days of Esau's kingdom, man. Okay, and our new beginning is coming. That's right. Okay, That's right. we're living in the transition of power. Okay, you know, Esau has been uh, ruling for too long. He has been polluting the earth. Okay, causing wickedness to spread for too long, man. So a new ruler, a new ruler and a new rulership has to come into play. Okay, that government, okay, starting with Yahweh Shah being the king, is coming, man. Okay, and if you don't want to be part of that government, of that society, hey, you will be put to death, man. That's right. Okay, because if you don't want the true king to rule, hey, your house is going to kill you. That's right. Man. That's right. That's right. the Bible. Right. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Just like the uh, brother said, man, you know, judgment is going to come to you, you know, if you don't want this king to come, man. You know, and, 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 and um, ultimately, the judgment is going to start with our people. You know, if um, somebody got First Peter 4, you know, because, you know, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of hell. That's, that has happened to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans, man. You know, those that took the jab, you know, all you, all you, all you people that were scared for your life and went and went and took the jab, right. you know, it's, it's, it's certain apparitions that, that are happening to you. This is First Peter 4 and 17. So for the time has come. Right, and that time is now. That judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Right, man, because hey, hey, judgment is being put on on the four corners of the earth, man. You know, and it's, it, and it's starting with our people. You know, you, hey, hey, you niggas, you know, you, you so-called like, Latinos, you Haitians. Y'all don't want to catch in the most hell. You know, Edomites too, but it's starting with our people first. You know? Yeah, right, now the Edomites are starting to feel how Jake's uh, uh, be feeling like, man. Okay, showing you that what? That role, that role reverse has happened. The, the fulfillment of Deuteronomy yeah. 30 and 7 is taking place now, but it's going to intensify. Yeah. Right, are, yeah. you, are, are, are you crying about how, 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 how expensive living is? Crying about how, how expensive food is starting to get? You know? jacob has been dealing with those, those problems, man. You know, but now you, 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 and, and you and Edomites are seeing how, 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 how hard it is, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, this is second, second Ezra 16, sorry, 17. It says, Woe is me, woe is me who would deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, and the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right, you know, the you basically know, saying. You know, that's the beginning, man. These these sorrows and, and, and all these famine and all these pestilence, you know, that that is the beginning of sorrow. Things things are already gonna get worse. You know? This this is just at the uh, the uh, the top of the cake. You know? Things things are gonna intensify. As long as we continue to get closer and closer to that day of the shot returning, okay, things are gonna continue to increase, man. Yep. That thing is a y'all think the price is a problem now. Hey, watch when the economy collapses, man. Okay, me finna be like ten thousand dollars. Okay, then what you finna do? Okay, they're gonna resort to okay, uh, savage like behavior. Right, hey, hey, meat is gonna turn into a down payment on a car. Right. <laughs> you know? Or somebody uh a car insurance, man. Right, cause you know Jake's like I ain't paying that shit, so they what they finna do, they finna steal it. Right. And, and you know there's and there's already reports of Jake stealing shit, man. That's you know, the people, yeah. people looting, breaking his stores. You know, and then how Esau has it, you know, you should steal back, back then for a little thing and you get arrested. Now that that, that price is done increase, man. You know? Niggas going to stores just stealing shit, not getting arrested, getting away with it. Yeah. Th those things are just the beginning. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a craftily, cunningly device plan with Esau had. He let these things happen so he could bring the judgment. That's so right. he could uh he, he trying to get that, that, that chaos so he could bring the order. That's right. Yeah. If I if I may back you up on the one. Hey, Apostle Ramlam had did that video that uh, these things aren't just ha happening, so to say. Right. You know, they're planned. All right, dealing with with, with, the, with the wars and dealing with everything. All this, all these things have been orchestrated and they're planned. All right, all right? 
these you see people rioting and etc. He saw cars and plans to come to come through for people to do that. Right. So what he can set up different laws and orders. That's how this devil rocks, man. All right. That's how he rocks. Right, when you understand who Esau Edom is, he's a cunning serpent, man. All right. right. Everything he does, he does it meticulously and he plans it. Right. Especially when he goes out hunting. Look, Esau can sit in the wilderness for two, three hours and not move. Right. right. Watching his prey. Yeah, that's that's how he is, man. Esau is one that he, he takes his time with things. Right. All right. But the way the Lord got it set up, time is against you. Right. That's why Esau keep getting exposed right. from shit. Whether it be whistleblowers, all right. Or whether it be whether it be the Lord shining the light upon him doing things in darkness, yeah. all right. He's always getting exposed because what time is against him, man. All right, and the Lord's against him. What he, 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 what he doing is he's setting a trap, but he's gonna be the one to fall in that trap ultimately. Exactly. So he, 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 they're gonna start off, you know, taking a, a lot of our people, but ultimately he, the scripture speaks about he that digging the pit shall fall there, man. That's you know, spirit. he's gonna spirit, fall in that man. pit. Like the elders say, Jacob's trouble is going to begin as Jacob's trouble, but it ultimately going to end up to Esau's trouble, man. Right. Because he's going to be the one ultimately going to go, 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 take away his own self. Well, well, the Bible says that. Yeah. We read Jeremiah 36 and read it on down. Right. It says Jacob, then it says all thy enemies shall be devoured. Right. 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 Every one of them that put you in captivity shall be. Uh, so that's in the Bible. Right. So you're going to be recompensed for his wrongdoing. Right. I have a precept. I probably can shout by me. Uh, Psalms chapter 9 and verse uh, 16. It says, The Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. The wicked are snared in the work of his own hands. Hagi and Selah, verse 17. It says, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Which we're going to hear, huh? You know, hey, as you said, you know, the Lord is known by his judgment. Hey, look at the flood, man. You know, look at Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, what they, you know, it, 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 you know what they called the Lord, uh, Anashaja, you know, demon-like power, you know, because he was, he was sending out judgment, you know? Yeah, the scripture called him great and terrible. Right. Showing you he have the ease that he's a balance. Right. Great <laughs> and terrible. Don't try to put him in all the water, so it's all good. He is good. Right. But he have the other side, too. Right. He, he's good. He's merciful, but he's also terrible. Right. right. You know? <laughs> And the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, uh, King David, I believe it was a song of King David. He said, Lord, don't judge me in your heart displeasure. Right. You know, because the Lord can get angry. Mm -hmm. Who wants that? Right. Who you wants know? to be judging his hot <laughs> displeasure? Right. That could be like lava hot. Right. Bro, <laughs> yeah. look, you don't want your stuff, you don't want to be driving on the highway and your car out of nowhere gets split in half some way. Right. right? That's the Lord judging you in his hot displeasure, man. Right. Okay. And when the Bible speaks about that, the scripture speaks about being cut asunder. Right. You be, you being right. uh, shared your portion along with the wicked. Right. 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 If you when the Lord return, you happen to be on his wrong side. Right. 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 If you on his left side when right. his return, it's possible that you could be cut asunder with right. cut thunderbolts from the chariot, man. That's right. Hey. Hey, but even then it's better to fall into the hands of the Lord than the hands of men. Right, huh? See? That's right. In that case, when you fall into the hands of the Lord, you better make sure it's on the right hand side. Right. You see, Facts. not the left hand side. The scripture tells to tell you is a, is, a, is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands yeah, of the living Lord. power. Right. Yeah, that's only the, for the righteous. Right. The righteous right. fall into the hands of the right. Lord. Right. That's the what wicked, it, right. it's, it's not a good thing no. because uh, the most high is a dark, dark, demented side. Right. <laughs> yeah, good, huh? Like yeah. Everybody has a bad side. Right. Or nobody, it, get, it, it doesn't get worse. Right. That's what that's what Susanna told those <laughs> elders when they tried to get at her. They tried to grab her up. That's she right. said she ain't doing this. She rather fall into the hands of the mighty power, man. She was righteous. Because right. she was righteous. Hey, but, the wicked, no. <laughs> but the wicked, nah. Wait, hey, you better be scared, man. What is right. what is saying wisdom of Psalm 3 and 1? All right, the righteous uh, the righteous souls are in the hand of the Lord. They shall not be tormented. That's right. mm -hmm. Okay? So the righteous don't got nothing to worry about. Right. The wicked, on the other hand, <laughs> hey, it's it's man. Yeah. It's good to say, uh, second edge is nine. The same was no after death by pain. Right, right. 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 Hey, I like how Gabar said, you know, <laughs> basically the Lord got a dark side. Yeah. Hey, if the Christians hear that, they'll bug yeah, out. They'll bug out. No. They'll say I'm wicked for saying that. <laughs> right. But God does have a dark side. Well, the man. most high, well, it, it's not killing 60,000 people dark and demented. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 60, 50,000 people in Turkey but, but from he, an earthquake. But he's still righteous for doing that. Killing huh? babies. And he's still that. righteous. But the whole yeah. earth except eight people. Yeah. Yeah. 
that, that's not a, alone. That's a dark. That's a dark side. A dark right. side he man. he said he put he said he gonna put his fury upon us to judge the Edomites, and he also said we're gonna dash the children's heads, stones. stones. Like, damn, th these are prophecies though. All right. You know, All right. And these um and these Christians read about the flood, you know, but they don't really go go into how you know the Lord going to judgment. Right. You know, they, they they just read it. Oh yeah, no, uh, you know, they don't they don't understand the whole context of the uh, right. of the whole story. They're trying, right. to, read, gotta, they're trying to read it like a, like it's a novel, right. like as if it's, it's not saying what it's saying. Right. Like it's a bad story time. Like oh yeah, the most I've heard the earth, no one's saying that's it. Right. No, that, 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 that's, that's what, what happened. happened. That is a fearful thing. Right. I mean, when you really understand how the Lord created the flood, His Lord wiped out the whole earth. Bro. Yo, that is scary, man. You know, the whole process of killing niggas like that. Right. <laughs> right. 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 I mean, you know, we the uh, we the real real people in this life. You know, when we come in, you know, every Saturday, you know, the cross at the downfall of this kingdom, which is Babylon, America. You know, and to tell our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and every Native Americans, to come back to your true power. You know, you are not black, you're not Haitian, you're not, you're not, you're not a Latino. You know, through through through, through slavery and through um, the, the so-called white man's, you know, uh, <laughs> ideals in the earth, he he he, he done change. You know, our nationality. You know, he he he, he done beat. You know our nationality out of us, man. You know, so so we are here to prophesy and tell us, you know, come back. You know, I appreciate. You guys, believe in Yeshua? Well, his name is not Yeshua. Uh, how, that's how, how you say it? How you say it? You know, his, his true name is Yahweh. You know, his, his name is he saves, right, delivers. Right. So see, he, he he's gonna deliver his people. They say something that. Where, where, where it says, you know, how how how, how our serial was named. You know, so I used to believe him, though, right? Yahweh Shah, yes, we believe Yahweh Shah. Yeshua was not his name, Yahweh. I'm sorry? You believe he's a Messiah? Or you just believe in the God? Yes, we believe he's the Messiah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a Messiah for Israel. Right, right. Not for everybody else. Right. Only for the whole inhabited world. Only for a specific group of people, a nation, which is the nation of Israel. He didn't come to save the whole world. Right. I'm going to give you. The, um, the the meaning behind why his name is Yahweh. I, I like that shirt. That's spiritual. They didn't say that. And, 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 and this, is, this is why his name is Yahweh, not Yeshua, Yahweh, or, or, who, or who they say Jesus Christ. This is, this is Matthew 1 and 21. It says, uh, And she shall bring forth a son, and, sh and thou shalt call his name. It says it says Jesus, but his true name is Yahweh. Right. And then, and then she's talking about Mary, you know, the, the, uh, the mother of who, who they call Jesus. With the true name of Yahweh, for he shall save his people from their sins. Right, and and and, and, and that's what he's doing. He's coming to save the nation of Israel, but in particular the elect nation of Israel. You know, uh, although you know the, the word and the, and the promises is for is for Israel, but the Lord God. So he's basically like the believers, those who believe in him. Yeah, those who believe in Yahweh, who who turn back from from their ways, Christianity, and and and, and all those things. But they have to be a part of. They have to be on the side, right. not just everybody. You, side. you no. see yourself on the side? Uh, yeah, Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico. I'm trying. Uh, what would you consider Negro, like African? What African? So-called African American. Right. So African. Right. Because you have to understand when the Negroes came to America, they were given all different type of titles. They were called colored. They were called Negroes. Right. They were yeah. called African Americans. Afro Americans. The true nationality of the people in America is the tribe of Judah. That's the head tribe. All, all these things you see on the right hand side, well, yeah, on the right hand side right here, these are all byways. Right. These are byways. This is what we really go by. Right. When you read the, when you read the scriptures, right, right. Oh, when you okay. read the Bible, right. it talks about this man was from the tribe. Right, right, right. You know, okay. that's our truth. When we came to America in captivity, they gave us the, they gave us these names: Haitian, Dominican, Puerto Rican, etc. But that's not. Well, we really, that's not really our, um, that's not that's our names, you know? Right. It's like calling these people wetbacks and spicks. Right. The same thing, man. Except, you know, we're familiar with these words. Negroes, West Indians, Asians, and shit like that. Right. Okay. Right. That's, that's why when, when you come into this truth, 
you, you're gonna go back to your, your original Israelite customs. Right. You're gonna get away from the, the world or what the world offers you, like those byword names telling you that you're a, you're a Negro, you're a wet back and all of this. You're gonna move away from that and come back to your true customs. You see? You're gonna start surnaming yourself by Israel again. Right. Whatever perspective tribe you're from, or you're from Puerto Rico, or you're from the tribe of Ephraim. Right. Well, I'm, I'm mixed. I have like also like, well, I guess Puerto Rico. Like, whatever your father is, which you, you, you cannot possibly be mixed. Whatever your father is, that's, that's who you are. Who, who, where are your father is from? He's mixed with Puerto Rican. Where your father is from? Where he's from? Yeah. Like where he's born? Yeah. Oh, he's born in the. States. Yeah, but where's Lion come from? He could be born in the United States, but where his father come from? Uh, so, 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 where your father? Where your father come from? European. European? Yeah. Where? Right, yeah. Hungary? Yeah. Well, he could still possibly yeah. be Israel because we're scattered into all nations. Right. Right. But that would be something for you to look into to, to see where your line go back to. Right. You know, but he could possibly be an Israelite because, right. and then your spirit, it kind of like the spirit bears witness that we are right. sons of God. Right. The spirit, what you got, it seems like you into this. Right. So if you into this, that means that your father will be into it too. Meaning that not saying that he's going to be saved. Right. Meaning that yeah, he came right. from that lineage. Right. Because if you could understand this, that means your father had that spirit. Right. And if you can understand this, that means if you can understand this. All right. Hey. You're, you're, uh, it could be a possibility that you're Israelite. You understand? All right. All right. That's why I said you got to be people on this sign. Yeah. What about like, um, like non-Israelites? Like non-Israelites? What, what do you mean by non-Israelites? Like non, uh, just not part of it. Like, okay. So you say like the other nations, like yeah, the Japanese, yeah, like you know? Yeah, yeah, like Japanese, Chinese. Yeah, those are the, uh, the, the, the other nations. You know, they are not. They don't really have a power like like we do. You know, that's, that's why they got all these other gods, you know, because the Lord is not really dealing with them. You know, because the Lord is dealing with our people. So the, so the Japanese, the Chinese, the Arabs, all, all, all those other nations, you know, that, that are from Adam, but they are not Israelites. Yeah, the Lord okay. God, who the people call God, he is a racist God. You know, he is only for his people. Right, so the, the Bible was written, you know, go ahead, finish it. The Bible was written by the Israelites, which are these people, for the Israelites only. Right. So anybody else that is not from the nation of Israel, the Bible is not for them. Right. Which is the gospel that we're trying to bring. And although we, we, we are scattered, mm -hmm. they, they, there will be Israelites that look like, you know, Japanese and stuff like that. But, you know, that's why we always test the spirit, you know, to, to, to see if, if the word resonates with you. Can, you can look like a Japanese or a Chinese, but, you know, if you're down with Yahweh, you know, you're an Israelite. Right. You know? Are, 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 are you making from other nations, like, let's say, like, what if they abandon their gods? I got, a, I got a scripture right quick to edify your point because I, I see what I, I can kind of see where you're going with, with this you know like you know what if these other nations leave from their gods and try to serve the Lord but we have to we like we're trying to tell you the Lord's only for his people so those different up uh, those other nations of people if they just try to leave their gods and follow our gods which is not really gonna happen <laughs> but if they try to do it it's not gonna be to no prevail because the Lord's only dealing with Israel now there is gonna be people that may look like the brother was saying that may look Chinese, Japanese. But they come up and it makes sense to them and they understand it and they take it. Nine times out of ten there's a they're an Israelite, so they can come back to them. But if they're not an Israelite, if this does not make sense to them, if they don't take heed to this, alright, if they don't get it, if it's not for them, nine times out of ten they're a heathen. You know, they're of the nation, Lord ain't really dealing with them. But I have a scripture to uh edify your point and edify uh Try to help edify right quick. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He have not dwelt so slaughtered. He have not dealt so with any any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord only shows his statutes, his judgments, his laws, his laws and his commandments to Israel. Israel, we're the, we're the holy and chosen people. Huh. Uh, I, I just want to say this too. Hey, in the next chapter, I want to bring this out too. In Psalms 148 and, 148 and 14, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So the Lord is dealing with Israel. Israel is the Lord's firstborn. It tells you that in the book of Exodus. All right? The Lord dealing with Israel and the Israelites. 
Psalms right. 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that I've made a covenant with by sacrifice. Mm. So the saints, the saints are the Israelites. Mm. The Israelites are the only people who the Lord made a covenant with by sacrifice. Mm. So that's who the Lord dealing with. The Israelites. Right. Now the, the heathens have a place in the kingdom, but that's going to be in servitude. They're going to serve Israel. So Israel is going to be changed. The law, statutes, and commandments are going to be put into our inner parts. Therefore, we're going to be perfect. By being perfect, we ain't never going to sin again. That means that we ain't never going to die. The other nations, not, that's not promised to the other nations. They're still going to sin. They're going to go off. That's why the scripture speaks of a rule with a lot of time. Because they're going to have to learn the law, statutes, and commandments of our God. And we're going to have to teach it to them. Right. So what happens after Like I say, they're going to be, it, 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 it's going to be rule in the kingdom where whenever a nation goes off, they're going to have to be judged. It's going to have to be judged. I got, I got something for you. Well, you got, you got Zechariah? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Zechariah 14 and 16. Mm -hmm. And it's a come to pass that everyone that is left mm -hmm. of all the nations mm -hmm. which came against Jerusalem mm -hmm. shall even go up from year to year to worship the king mm -hmm. and Yahweh of hosts and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm -hmm. And it should be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king and the Lord of hosts, upon even upon them shall there be no rain. So in the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites are going to be the top family on the, on the planet earth. But the other nations, after they serve their captivity, they will have certain parts of the earth where they will be. Right. Okay? So it's going to be a functioning society in the kingdom of heaven. The heathens are going to have their place. The Israelites are going to have their place, but it's going to be the top of them. Cream of the crop. Uh, but they won't still be worshiping their gods, right? No, no, no absolutely no. not. Uh, hey, they will awesome. be worship. Everybody will be worshiping uh, yeah, Yahweh, God. Yahweh Shai, and the Israelites. Right, right. right. So, real quick, the kingdom of heaven is not in the sky. No, I, 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 it's yeah, going to be here on earth. Right. 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 The kingdom of heaven is going to be a rulership where the children of Israel is going to be above all the nations on the earth. Right. We're going to be the ones. Right. Issuing out the laws, statutes, and commandments of right. the Heavenly Father. Right. Now, if you find yourself not being an Israelite and you don't keep the laws of the Heavenly Father, there is a price to pay, okay, which is going to be straight punishment. All right, and this is what we're here for. We're here to wake up the elect, the chosen of our nation, say, hey, look, you know, it's possible that you can be a part of this nation. If you see yourself on the side, you're going to come back to the Heavenly Father, okay, so that way you can receive salvation from what's about to happen. Now, but, but, as you said, you know, and, 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 and it's still a trick too, because although the words is it, from all the people on the sign, the Lord still has an elect number from all the from all the nations. Because yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the law of statutes for for, 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 for uh, in the scripture uh, that they talked yeah, about uh, is for uh, is for all the legal that in America. But there, there are two thirds that they are going to die on this side, you know, and, and, and the Lord's going to save an elect number. Out of all these people. So, so although, you know, we preach and come out here, we prophesy to, to all the nations, yeah. the Lord's still got a specific, a specific number from all the nations that he's going to say. It's really for the elect. That's the why elect. the scripture says, Matthew 24 and 30, and he shall send his angels to gather together to the elect from the four winds of the earth. Because the Lord only dealing with the elect at this time. It's not like an ancient Egypt when he delivers all the ancient Egypt people out the whole of Israel out. Mm -hmm. No, he's not doing that because right. he brought them out and have to kill off the majority of them in the wilderness because they, they were not believers. Right. They were not believers, so the Lord didn't doing that this time. He only working with his elect. Right. And you know, in the time, that, 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 that's also how, how, how the Lord, how the work, because I'm preaching sure the story of the flood. Right, you see how Noah was telling them, repent, the Lord was going to flood the earth, but they didn't listen. Guess why? Because they never saw, you know, they, they, they never saw rain. Although it's due, they never saw rain before. So, 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 the Lord had to flood the earth and only saved eight people. So, in Noah's time, he was the elect and his family. Right. And he was, his and he, time. And he was the remnant. And he was the remnant. But in his time, the Lord will have a remnant of the population. So, they're going to Correct. Yeah. Correct. And it's, it's, it's not going to be the Israel that they got over there. With the, the so-called Jewish and doing their wickedness over there. That, that place is going to be destroyed and it's going to be built up again. But that's the same location, right? They just build it up? Well, it's going it, 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 it to be different. It's going to be purged. Right? Yeah, you're talking about Israel? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was going to tell It's going to be purged. So this is another reason what we're going to need the heathens for. Because Israel is going to be destroyed and, right. and, and the un 
upcoming battle that's come. World War Three is going to be destroyed. And we're going to use the heathens to build it back up. Right. Build up the walls right. of Jerusalem and build up the kingdom. It's, it's too much wickedness going on there. Right. Yeah, you know? They have the biggest Momo parade and all this stuff. It's, a, it's, supposed, it's supposed to be the Holy Land, but they got, they, there's, there's pigs up, they running around. Right, coastal pig. Right, coastal pig and they stuff. Got, so called gay you know? parades and all, all that. All that. Hey, it's it's really yeah, it's real. They, 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 they have a so called, I ain't going to say the word, they don't say the beauty, but a gay parade over there. And, and that's supposed to be the, you know, and, and that's supposed to be the promised land. You know? They're supposed to be the holy people. Right. But, they're, the not, people. but they're, they're not. not the holy people. They're right. apostles. They, they made themselves to something what is called the Belcourt Declaration. That's how they got back into the land. Right. They but they through, through a letter. Yeah, the Acts 4. But according to the Bible, the Lord said he's going to take us back there. Right. Hold on, let's, let's see the scriptures. Uh, we don't want to jump, we don't want to... Yeah, because we, we, we feed it a lot. Too much, too much. Uh, too much. Uh, I, I, got, I got a scripture right quick to back up what the brother brought out in uh, Zechariah, because he's talking about the uh, heathens, you know? They're going to come to us, all right? And if they uh, if they don't worship us, they, they ain't going to have no rain, okay? But when they do worship us, they're going to see the benefit in it, and they're going to want to flock to us even more. This is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Lord's house, shall be established. All right, another word for mountain is government. All right, the government of the Lord, Israel. All right, we're going to be established. Okay? In the top of the mountain, so over all the governments, we're going to be that top government. And shall be exalted above the hills. All right? And all nations shall flow to it, so they gonna flow to us, cause they gonna see how they gonna see how profitable it is to follow after the way of the Israelites. All right, cause if you follow after our ways and the commandments, you gonna have rain. Your land gonna be prosperous. All right, you ain't gonna need to deal with drought and famine. But if you don't follow us, you gonna need to deal with drought, famine. You gonna need to be people with the rod of iron. You know? Yeah, there's consequences. You know? That's how the Lord deals. You know? Verse 3, and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So, hey, that's how, hey, they're going to they gonna be like, hey, man, let us go to them. Let's go learn the way from them because it's prosperous, you know? That, that's why the scriptures speak about the kingdom gates being open continually because the heathens gonna bring in all their goods to us. Yeah. The scriptures speak about us sucking the breasts of kings, meaning they're gonna be bringing all their goodies to us. Right. They're, gonna, they're gonna have to pay tribute to us. That's right. Look, and if I may, if I may say something to back the brother up too, hey, even though they're not the chosen people, the heathens, they still gonna rejoice in our kingdom because right. we we're not. The way we're going to rule, we're going to rule with righteousness. Right. We're going to rule fair. All right? So they're still going to rejoice even though they're not the chosen people. The is going to be beneficial for them. Right. right. They're going to have clean air. Right. Right. Clean water. Water without fluoride in it. Right. Air skies without chemtrails in it. Being sprayed. I saw a damn article <laughs> yesterday. Bill Gates' latest venture. You saw it in the chat group? Yeah. Yeah. Bill Gates' latest yeah. venture. Yeah. For people yeah, yeah, yeah. who did not took the juice, yeah. they yeah. about to spray that yeah. shit. Hey, hey, uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm Today, if not later, if not by later today, tomorrow, the, this video right here is going to be uploaded.
Yeah, we, we just Maybe came recently. This part, man, I never, I really and that was the Lord. The Lord yeah, sent you over. Right. 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 The Lord the Lord brought you here so you could have this, bro. Not yeah. by coincidence. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, I appreciate it. Take it, man. Be safe. All right, man. All right, bro. I don't know you, but she might have shot. And the angels rejoice over one. Yeah, that, you know? You gotta get that. Somebody got it. Somebody got it. You gotta grab it. You know, because that was a that was an edifying, you know, little little pep talk. You know, with a someone that could occur, man. You know, what would they do there? You know? And you know, this is the reason that, you know, we come out every Saturday when we do this every Saturday, man. Right. It's lucky. I'm gonna say something. You know, because because we love to see our people coming back to the two power or inquiring of what what we're doing. Yeah? Right. You know, because we were once you know wanting to figure out or wanting the world, but 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 now we uh, we brought back to our true nationality, and now we we probably sign every day, man, every second. That's right. And I want to say something to you, Israelites. That's not out here. All right. <laughs> hey, we just through the spirit. We just please the Lord. Right. You Israelites are in trouble, man. Yeah, hey, you better repent and come out, man. Okay? What, what you hold out, Rob? I know you been holding it. Hey, still bring it out. We can still talk like he's not here for edification. <laughs> Y'all in trouble, man. Turn back to the Lord, man. Right, this is Isaiah 60. We start at 9. He says, Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ship of Tarsus first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord Yahweh, thy coward, to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of the, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor. <laughs> Let's go. So, <laughs> yeah, that we didn't get our raw slot. Uh, tenth verse. Uh, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Right, man, going into what we're talking into with the brother, man. Okay. Hey, yeah, the Lord put us through hell, but in the kingdom, hey, these nations are gonna be serving us, man. Okay, they're kings of these different nations gonna be serving us, bring us their silver, their gold, their different resources in the kingdom. Because hey man, hey, we are the chosen, we are the we are the uh, princes of the power, man. We are Yasharala, a, a royal priesthood, a chosen gen a chosen generation of Yah Bashim al Shah. These nations are supposed to be serving us, man. We're not, we not wrong for saying this. This is in the Bible, man. Right. Hey, the scripture said the earth was made for our sakes. Right. For our sakes. Right. right now, we're just being punished and going through what we got to go through until we get back to the Lord, the right and truthful way, you know? That's right. We got to go through this. Right. But uh, this is Luke chapter 15, verse 7. It said, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. So the Lord said he came back, he coming back for uh, for sinners, man. All right? The scripture speaks about uh, uh, they that are whole need, need not a position, man. The Lord is coming for sinners, man. All you got to do is acknowledge that you transgress against the Lord, man. You know, and the Lord will show you that mercy, man. What <laughs> you got, brother? Oh, it's going to say in John 15, what the Lord... <laughs> so like, it's going to say in John 15, the Lord is saying not to bring fruit, to uh, uh, get fruit. Uh, and then they should, and they, matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna butcher it. This is uh, John 15 and the 16. It says, He have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and right. ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, mm -hmm. and that your fruit should remain, and that whosoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. All right? So, hey, the Lord set, set us up to do this, man. Okay, to call back, you know, uh, to call back fruit. You know, right. the so called the, the Israelites. Lord, that they are willing to repent and turn back to the Lord. That's right. Uh, can I say something? Look, so we also have the authority to curse you out, man. Right, right. All right? So don't get all your panties in a bunch when we curse y'all niggas out. Right. Okay? Because we got the authority to be nice and to curse you out. Right. right. I have a scripture to back you up, G-Bar. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare right. not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not yes. spare spare not. So yeah. some, sometimes, sometimes oh. the Lord... Sometimes, sometimes the Lord put the spirit upon us not to spare you. Sometimes the Lord wants us to curse you the fuck out. Right. You have many of the scriptures that curse people out. All right. Okay. Hey, Peter told Simon, like, yo, get your shit together, bro. All right. You had men that curse people out back then. Man. That's exactly what you do. You can be cursed. Right. The scriptures say, curse be the man that keep it back his sword. Right. Exactly. So you have to do it. Right. right. Look, look at Eli. 
He didn't he didn't rebuke his sons. He was keeping his sword back from blood. Right. The Lord judged him. Right. You know? And, and by doing that, it's, the scripture says, show favor to the wicked, yet when you're not learning righteousness. Right. right. So you by us telling you what you want to hear, that's not helping you. Right. Right. Hey, what's what's the saying in the world? See something, say something, man. Right. You know? You go. No, you can't just see something and just don't say shit. You know, you have to draw you have to draw your hands. Right. These people are it's, it's, Man, they're too, uh, like, and a lot of other Israelite groups got a lot of blood in your hands, man. Yeah. You know, because you cause, 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 cause y'all seeing shit that's going on in y'all camps, and, and, and y'all know that they're not going to be doing it, man. You know, not, not telling what the MOTV is, man. Yeah. You know, that is a great amount of blood that's on your hands, man. You know, because that is a great prophecy that, you know, that got to come to pass. Yeah, uh, you, you people in these other camps, y'all going off, and people that's not coming out to preach the word going off too. Because right. you see all this weakness take place in the earth and you you not saying nothing <laughs> you know you at home on your couch watching videos for entertainment man. Hey, that's, 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 that's right Isaiah 58 verse 1 cry loud spread not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shoot my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins so hey when we come out of here sometimes we gonna curse y'all out man but we're not wrong for doing it you know sometimes you gotta tell Jake yo yo your, your shit stink roughly, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, that's how Jake learned. Yeah, that's how Jake learned. You, you gotta you gotta get Jake tough love, man. Because yeah. if, you, if you're too easy with them, yeah. they, they take advantage of them. Yeah. If you're too yeah. easy with them, they're gonna run all over. Yeah. Why you think why you think the Lord why you think the Lord told Ezekiel I have made thy foreign heart up against their foreign like Adam and Flint stone? Why you think he told him that? Because he knows Jake is a stiff next set of people. You think he can come to Jake talking about, oh please, you're gonna have to change your ways. You can't do that with Jake. Jake ain't trying, you ain't gonna get you to Jake like that. What does the scripture say? Compel them. There you go. And when you go into that word compel, we know what it means. Literally threaten you, man. The Lord is going to kill you right. if you don't get it right. Why? Right. That's what the scriptures say. They, they got to hear that word. Luke 13, right. the word yeah. Luke 13 right. chapter 13, it says that. Right. Except you repent, you shall likewise perish. Right. What does perish mean? You die. You die, you die nigga. Hey, but that's why I came out here. Because I heard the Lord's going to kill me. Right. Hey, real talk. That's why I came out. We got to bring that out. We're not speaking our own words, bro. We got to bring that out. I don't appreciate it. Confidence shall be shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Who's the king of terrors, man? Who they call in the ancient days Allah Shadra, man? Demon-like power. Okay? Shall shall the, shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Come on. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Come on. Okay? Hey, come on, man. Don't try and put the Lord in the box, man. Don't do it. But let's get down the precept, Baba Bashar. Uh, Luke chapter 13, because we're not speaking our own words here. Right. This is Luke chapter 13, verse 1. It says, They were present at the season, some that told him of the Galatians, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Suppose he that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. Verse 3, I tell you, nay, meaning no, but except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Right. So except you repent, you're going to die. Okay, verse 4. Right. Or those 18 upon whom the tower of Salem fell and slew them, thinking that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem, I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Right. And that's the message, man. No gray, no gray areas in it. Right, right. All those things were done as an example for you, for, for the nation of Israel to turn back from their iniquity. Right. right. Which is what repent means, to turn back from your transgression. If, if, if they would have repented in Noah's time, there would have there would have been more people that were saved. Right. All right. They destroyed if they would have repented, but they didn't repent. Okay. Just like a lot of you Israelites gonna die because y'all don't want to repent. That's right, bro. All right, and turn away from your iniquities. That's right. So if a car, for an, a per, for an example, if a car is about to run you over, and I say, get the fuck out of the way of the car! <laughs> or if I choose to don't say nothing at all, which one is better for you? Hey, right. You say, so the oh, you ain't gonna hear that. Car is coming. You ain't gonna hear that. You see? Yeah.
parents would be like, wow, he's so educated. Why does he say hi to everybody and sit down and so quiet? Now, how is he so educated? And my mom said, oh, because I taught him, I taught him well, which is true. But my mom and my dad will beat my ass. Right. Right. That's oh, 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 spare oh, hey, really? That's the script. We don't spare a rod. What we're doing, we're not spare a rod. Right. Spiritually. Right. All right. We put it belt to ass spiritually. Because, hey, you come up and you you come up and we read the right. scriptures. You get your ass cut. And then we we uh, uh, we uh, curse your ass out. We're, we're your fathers. Right. <laughs> right. We're your we're fathers. Your fathers. Right. We're whooping your right. ass. The scriptures say the, 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 the spies, the spies not the chastening of the Lord, right. man. Right. For he deal with you as his sons. Because if not, you wasn't, if he wasn't dealing with you, you would be bastards on them, man. Right. He we're would give you. Give you a, a, a rope to just hang yourself, man. Hey, I let you go. Do you? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, a lot of a lot of you is a lot of you Israelites, y'all need y'all need y'all need y'all need to end up like the stubborn son, man. Right. Alright. <laughs> it is that stone, man. Alright, All right, cause you they don't be listen. fucking listening, right. man. Right. Do. I don't know. But that's what the Lord gonna do. The Lord gonna stone you. you do some 200 million oh, more heads. Wow. Hey, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, <laughs> chapter 30, verse 8. A horse not broken becomes headstrong, yeah, and a child left to himself become will be willful. Yeah, you know. yeah, if you leave a child to itself, it's gonna do what it wanna do. Right. Nobody's correcting it, okay? And that's how that's how uh, uh, these young uh, children grow up today, and they be, they just become rude. Nobody right. nobody training them. Your dad 
<laughs> your mom kicked your dad out the house. Right. 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 And, and I guarantee you, all them niggas that was looting in Philly, right. they didn't have, they didn't grow up with a father. Nope. Because right. if they if they did grow up with they, because when they came home, they would have got that ass whooped. Mm -hmm. And if they did grow up with a father, mm -hmm. his tail was tucked between his ass. Right. right. And his the, the woman was screaming at him, <laughs> uh -huh. sipping, uh -huh. screaming and say, "You you better hit your own child. Uh -huh. you, you better not hit him. Hey, look up, look you, you ain't gonna hit my baby. I, I, you ain't I, gonna I, hit my baby. Hey. What 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 the what the boy uh uh boys in the hood right? Remember the movie Boys in the Hood? Yeah, yeah. Lord because yeah, Lord Fishburne because Lord Fishburne was such a, a a good dad in the movie. What his son did? His son got out the car, man. Yeah. When they was about to ride and do that one eight, right? He got out the car, man. His dad was home, uh, rolling those two metal balls together in his hand like this. Right. You know, he put it down as a father. He trained his son. Yeah, he, right. he, his son said, let me out. Let me out. Right. <laughs> right. Let, me, let me out. See, what his father taught him, right. he, start, he start pondering on that. Right. He said, let me out. Right. In the time of, in, 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 in the, uh, what, what's the word, you know, it's the split, split second time. Right. You know, when, when, when he knows, oh, shit, this, this shit could fuck me up. Right. But your father right. told you, don't go be hanging with the people. And guess what? And what? And what? And when he said that, Ice Cube didn't even, he didn't even, he even didn't get mad. He caught it like he understand. He just let him out the car. All right. The scripture says, "When a man's ways please the Lord, he making even his enemies to be at peace with him." Man, he did the right thing. Right. He got out the car. That's him. how we are now with the, with the Most High. Right there, you go. Let me out. Let me out. Hey, we been outside. You know told Babylon the great whore, man. Get me out of here. Let me out of this shit, man. I don't like this ride, boy. This ride here ain't good for me. We already moved. Yeah, we were blessed with the spiritual conscience. You know, we already know certain shit we can't do. Certain shit we would never do. You know, because because the Lord has and the Lord has blessed us with the spiritual conscience from right from wrong. You know, a lot of y'all niggas aren't even blessed the wrong shit to do. Right. You know. I don't preach it, but hey, it's a book of Hebrews twelve and eight. But if ye be without chastisement, we're of all our partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. Right. 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 It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, starting at verse 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Uh -huh. oh, My yeah. son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, right. nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastises. There you go. So if he's chastising you, that means he loves you. That's right. He dealing with you like a son. That's right. Go ahead. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. There you go. If you endure chastening, the most high dwelleth with you as with sons. There you go. For what son is he whom the father has chastised uh, chasteneth not? Uh-huh. But if you be without chastisement, whereof are all partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. Right, read verse 9. Verse 9, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which Pat which corrected us, uh -huh. right. and we uh -huh. gave them reverence, right. we gave them respect. Right. Shall we not much more, or much rather, be in subjection unto the Father's spirits uh -huh. and live? You go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Your daddy will whoop you, right? right. right. And you'll learn from that, but how much more the Heavenly Father? Right. When he corrects you, yo, that leads to, ever, that leads to life, man. Yeah, right. You know. Well, the Lord, the Lord will judge you and give you the explanation why He judged you. Right. Because like a true father does. And now, now you, you, you would already get chastised, and now you know, oh shit, I, I fucked up. Yeah. Fucked up. You know, you, you know why you fucked up. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know you fucked up. Yeah. You about to stuff your toe, hit <laughs> your knee, and then you said, "Do I about to give a shot?" And then you already know why. Right. I got something real quick. The Book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter thirty, verse one: He that loved his son causes him off, off. Mm. Often mm. to fill the rod, that's that right. That he may have, that he, sorry, that he may have joy of him in the end. Right. right. Okay. So you can have joy of your son in the end. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't need to die with heaviness. All right. Yeah. You don't need to die with heaviness. Like damn, mm -hmm. this nigga's a nigga, bro. Embarrassing. You know, uh, embarrassing. Right. Yep. You know, because you played with him. He brought you heaviness, yep. man. Yeah. In the ancient world, it was the most seriousness. Ooh. Ooh. 
Right. Yep. Because that was the person, your son was the person to carry on the sea line. Right. right. So if, you didn't, yeah. if you didn't raise him a proper way, well, you, then you would fuck your sea line up, man. Right. 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 And guess what? If he was definitely, if he was a fool. Right. Because right. right. that's how you come back. No, I'm about to say So that. you have to pretend <laughs> like that's you. Yeah. Right. Oh, the scripture is saying in the, in the, in the, in the um, Apocrypha that he leaveth one like unto himself. Right. 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 Yep. right. 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 So literally, your son is you. Right, right. brother. Right. 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 It's like, it's like a copy of you. Yeah, right. right. And that's, that's why you got to let the spirits move. Right. 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 Just like, oh, shh. It's a Zion one, mind you. Just like Yahusha. Yahusha is a copy of his father. That's right. You know, same, 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 same spirit. And he looked like his father. Right. Yep. You know? I got you. No, there's some more out here. Right. Right. Be a little bring, more. bring it on. He that, he that chastises of his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. All right, he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Right. Damn, Khan, you 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 that it makes sense. Right. Uh, all right, seven, seven, right. call on him like Yahweh Shah. All right, what is he? Read that last part. He he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Right, right. 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 you know, no, no, go ahead. You know, it, it, you know, it, it, it fucking grieves Esau yeah. that, 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 that he see. Oh, yeah. we got niggas. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got niggas. Stealing, killing. Right. You know, we, 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 we that goes against his plan. And, that goes against his plan. And, <laughs> and we preaching, preaching against his system. Right. right. That, 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 that guy is bugging out. Yeah. Right. Because 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 we not going along with the system. You know, we are not down. Take, take, taking a just taking a Maxine. We not, not, not eating none of your doo dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you see them doo dogs? Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck no. We ain't eating. We ain't got yeah, new dogs, man. Pink, <laughs> pink <laughs> hot dogs and shit. Hey, brother, hey, don't let your wives eat no doo dogs. You're right, man. Hey, you, don't, hey, you, don't, it, you don't be out here eating doo dogs. You got those shits in the refrigerator. Throw them shits in the right. dog. Right. I, I don't know where it went. Right. Yeah. Don't throw them in the dog. Man, take them. And hey, walk to the, the, the garbage can and yeah, throw them shit like You don't know what happened to them. Right. Not the one in your house, a big garbage just, can. Just, hey, right. when, you, when you see certain strange food, <laughs> just, <laughs> just think about uh, <laughs> the, the clone yeah. Tyrone, man. That's <laughs> a <laughs> chicken. It's in the chicken. It's in the chicken. Oh, man. I got one after y'all put this. Good. All right, let me finish it up. It says, Sirach 30 and four, uh, 3 again. He that teacheth his son be with the enemy, which I want to speak on this to back up the brother you're wrong. Hey, you have brothers in this troop that have children, all right? That have children, young ones, and they're teaching their sons up in the in the right way, all right? And that's grieving the enemy, cause Esau he wants you to teach your children, or oh, go to public school, go do this, go do that, you know, be a big scientist, you know, <laughs> all, all 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 the uh, all different type of facades, man. But hey, brothers are teaching their children in the right way, in the ways of the scriptures, like like I I heard from the brother Osh, man. The brother Ash in the Miami camp. Hey, the brother told me like literally, bro. You don't need to go to school. All you can literally do is read the book of Sirach, and you'll learn about life. Yeah. Cause Sirach, oh, yeah. is, Sirach oh, yeah. is that's that's your life. To, uh, that's the real school, right? That's the real school. All you gotta do is read. Really, you just gotta read the whole. You gotta read the Bible. Learn about life. But you know, most importantly, right. read the stories and also read the books of wisdom. And now we right? got no other nation supposed to be teaching our children. Exactly. We supposed to be teaching our own children. Tell you that in the law. So Esau going to fuck off, you know? He going off. Or oh, put your kids in public school, yeah. private school. So Edom might can tell them some bullshit. Right. Edom might can tell them that. They fought to integrate our, our children with their own so, so they could teach our children what they want to teach them. Hey, teach them, oh, Christopher Columbus came and discovered. Right. Discovered what? Hey, right. I, I got something hey. for you real quick. This the, is the Big Bang Theory. Right. Yeah. yeah, the Big Bang Theory. And this is President you, Roosevelt, right. Theodore Roosevelt, yeah, Roosevelt the 26th president, yeah. president of the United States, said yeah. 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 a yeah. thorough yeah. knowledge yeah. of the yeah. Bible yeah. is worth yeah. more than yeah. a college yeah. education. Yeah. That's it. All right, and this is the President of the United States. There you go. <laughs> He's telling you that the, the understanding of the Bible is better than these so-called colleges, man. Right. Where you go and spend money and find yourself in debt after fucking four years, man. Right. Hey, these these colleges, these universities, oh, bullshit. Man. They're bullshit, man. I, I went to college and I ain't learned shit. The skin. I got some back you up about that. Uh, I'm gonna finish it. Cut. He, uh, Sirach 30 and 3. He that teaches his son grieve with the enemy, and before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Though his though his father died, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he have left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. Right. Man. 
he he left behind him an avenger against his enemies right. and one that saw a, a required kindness of his friends. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. A horse not broken coming becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be woeful. Conquer thy child, and he and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. That's why, with even with your children, you're not even supposed to be playing with them like that, man. All right. Balance, bro. Hey, the scripture says that if you give not your woman, your children, nor your friends power over you, man. Okay? Let me, let me back you up real quick. Uh, the war. Go, 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 go. Proverbs 29, verse 16. Let me start at 15. Salak. Come on, bro. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yeah, he shall give the light unto thy soul. So that's how extremely important it is for you to be a damn man and raise your child up to be as a man of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Right. All right, not because America teaches you the opposite. Right. Right. America teaches you that you could be able to dress up as a as a fairy, right. you know, and uh, make videos yeah. on Instagram, <laughs> and and, who, and and who's really uh, honoring that? It's just wicked ass women, right? Right. right. Yeah. You know, uh, they, got, they got a trend where uh, dads are dressing up with their daughters and shit, letting their daughters put makeup on them, yeah. 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 wearing skirts and shit, wearing skirts, doing tea parties, oh my painting their nails, yeah, painting their nails. Oh, that's my daughter. Come my on, daughter. man. For a birthday. See, a uh, 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 child needs their father. Needs I, 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 their I got an example for this, because guess what, number one, a woman cannot raise a son. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. A woman Sorry. cannot raise a child. Period. See, all right, so I'm Period. getting to that. I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm, I'm getting to it. I to correct a child. Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm getting to it. Now watch this. With, with, a, with a man child, a man child of certain traits, only the father can teach him. That's number one. Right. right. Number two, with my baby mama, my, myself and my daughter, okay? When my daughter was much younger, when she having trouble with her, she used to have to call me. All the I could speak to my daughter over the phone, and she would go sit down. She would go sit down somewhere show you, show you because she have reverence for her father. Right. You understand? Yeah. That alone within itself show you that a child needs their father, man. Right. Hey, you need the mother too, but you definitely need the father. You can't say, "Oh, just get rid of the father or put him out the house and all this foolishness." Right. Yeah, I got one brother once deal with the same situation as you. Hey, hey, women can barely control their fucking dogs, man. Right. <laughs> right. They can't. How are you gonna raise right. it? Uh, right. You can't even tell you, you can't even control your animal. <laughs> hey, there was they, a brother. They can't even control themselves. Right. The mother, the mother right. called the father and was like, you know what, I need to talk to your child because the child is acting erratic. He talks to the child, the child automatically tightens up. Right. And what you hear in the background is this, that power. Because she understands that that man, he has that power to, you, go. to, yeah. to you know what I'm saying? He has that power to, to, to tell that child, right. hey, look, you tighten up or this is what's going to be the, the consequence. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if I may back you up, you gonna say anything else? No, but hey, to back you up, I was watching this video on TikTok. This girl was, you know, holding on to her dad, and she was telling her mom, she was like, hey, you know, me and you can't really. Basically, she was like, you can't come between me and my dad because we have that blood bond. That's right. All right, <laughs> blood bond. We have that blood bond. That's right. And she told her mother, really, you're just a stranger. Ooh. You know, <laughs> me and my dad, we have that blood bond because really. Hey, we come. Hey, you come from your father's nutsack. That's right. That's right. right. All right. Really? Yeah, you're connected to your mother, but you're very connected to your father, right? Okay. If I may share this little story, when I when I used to live when I used to live in the Bahamas, bro, I'm speaking of one of my, my best friends at that time in the world. His bigger brother. I'm talking about a grown ass man. Okay. This guy is a grown ass man. He lived in the house. He was living in the house with the rest of his brothers and his sisters. Them. And their mother, but his dad lived on the old island, right? His dad lived on the old island. I don't know what he did, but his dad came to the island where we was on one day. His dad is a big ass dude, big. Bro, and I'm telling you, but this dude, what I'm talking about, is a grown ass man. 
His dad came to the house one day. I don't know what he did. If his mom called his dad and told him something, he did something or whatever. But I'm talking about a grown ass man. When this man came to the house that day, I ain't never seen nothing like this. The man come in there and caught him up in the kitchen. And have him up by his throat like this. And he take off his slippers. He had on some rubber slippers. And start beating him with it. Bro, you think his mom could do that? No. His mom couldn't do that. His dad had to do that. A grown ass man. A grown ass man, bro. I was like, what the? No, you can get your ass with an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bro, this a big dude. Yeah. Big man. Take yeah. off his right let us slip us, you know. Yeah. And have him by his throat and just putting clothes on him, bro. Uh, so, and a grown man. Uh, yeah. A grown man need to get his ass beat yeah. Bro. Yeah. 20 years old, 25. Hey, and hey, guess what? He's going to appreciate that shit go. when he got kids. But his, right. mom, his mom couldn't do that. He lived in the house with his mom. Yeah, so whatever he needed to be corrected for, she couldn't do it. No. Nope. The, 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 the daddy had to come from old island to come and do that. Right. Well, that's what your house was about to do. Right. Right. Your house was about to come from the heavens. Right. 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 What does what, what right. what, what his sand do? Oh, it's sworn. Right. Right. It's sworn. Right. Right. You know, yeah. you know, hey. No, no, that's what he about to do. What he about to do? Yeah, you put this chunk of us to understand that, you know, a father's son is really a replica of him. You know, so if your son doing bad in school, right? And then your 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 father come, your your dad will feel embarrassed, you know, cause cause he cause he was to raise you right, you know. So 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 people not doing what they supposed to, do, your dad come and beat your ass, man, you know, cause he you ain't and you make your father look bad, right? You know, because you're a monument unto okay. your father, right? right. You look just like your dad. You go to school, you 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 be a wicked nigga, right. got boom, and, and your dad come, he beat your ass. Hey. Then he tell the principal, I'm sorry for 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 my sons. No actions. Action. Ain't that what they said about your house? Isn't it? Isn't this the carpenter's son? Right. 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 It's John, John fourteen and seven. If he had, if he had, if he had known me, you should have known my father also. also. Right. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. And not only because they say that they, they share the same facial uh, features, but because how, how they how they act, man. Austere. Okay. The things that Yahweh was doing, he got from his father. So you know, and it says, Philip said, Say up unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffice to us. Yahshua said unto him, Have I not, Slaki, have I been so long, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that, he that had seen me had seen the Father. How says thou then show us the Father? Believest thou not that I, I am in the Father, and the Father in me? That's right. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. That's right. That's right, man. You know, it's, 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 Get in the KJV and the NOT. Psalm 103, chapter 13. <clears throat> like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. And the NOT it says, The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. You know, so you know the reason the whole point while we say in everything is because really. We fear our Heavenly Father, right? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, right? Because we know that if we are in this crosshairs, we got nothing but death, destruction, anguish coming towards us, man. Okay, so what we're saying right now, basically what it is, is us giving reverence and fear and love to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, because He's the reason why we're still up here today. He's the reason why we woke up today. He's the reason why we're going to eat today and go back to sleep and Lord willing, wake up tomorrow, man.
okay? And if you don't want to use it towards righteousness sake, then the Lord is going to take that from you, man. Eventually, when the times to come, in Jacob's trouble. Uh, Just saying. This is Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 27. It says, They that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to fear, than the fear of the Lord. And there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. So at the end of the day, we must keep a healthy fear of the Lord. You know, that the brother is going into, you know, scripture say, uh, 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 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. Yeah. You know, when you know when you fear the Lord, certain things you're just not going to do. <laughs> so it, it would behoove you to keep a healthy fear of the Lord, right? You see? Uh, I got one more. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. It reads, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For well, this is the whole duty of man. So this is your duty. Okay? Verse 14 says, For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment, and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So whether good or bad, man, you know, the Lord, <coughs> He's going to bring whatever secret, you know, or whatever work you have done, you know, that's, that's, that's going to be uh, 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 looked upon, except you turn to the Lord and repent wholeheartedly, man. Right. You know, because the scripture speaks about your sins being blotted out. All right? The scripture speaks about uh, 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 blessing the man who knows the most high imputed, imputed not iniquity. So it's all of the Lord to show mercy. The Lord says, He will harden whom He will harden, and He will have mercy upon whom He will have mercy. At the end of the day, it's all up to the Lord. But how are you going to know that if you don't give the Lord a try? I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, he got to bring you into this thing, right? But well, the scripture said, let not your sins wear you down. So you mustn't convict yourself in your mind. You know? You got to turn to the Lord and see what he would do with you, as the scripture said. Turn to him and see what he would do with you. You know? For an example, the prayer of Manassas. The Lord said he can't be come for sinners, man. So you got to leave it in the hands of the Lord. Turn to him. Right. Cast your burdens upon the Lord. You got it? You know, and what we're doing right now, this is prophecy that we're doing, telling our people to fear the Lord, because the Christian churches, they don't teach us that. Right. They taught us that, we taught us little lies that God is all good, God is for everybody. Real quick, Revelation chapter 14, I'm going to start out verse 1, I'm going to move down like all seven verses. Real quick, let me say this. If, if you're telling the people God is all love, then these people ain't got a reason to fear God in their mind, because right. you're telling them he's all love. You can do whatever you want. He's he just going to smile at you. And, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Scripture speaks about the time where he winked at your ignorance. But we ain't in the time of the Most High winking at your ignorance anymore. <laughs> You're going to be held accountable, man. Right. Right? If, if your rent due in three days, you're going to do whatever you got to do to get that money in three days. So you, you find out your rent due in three months, you're going to fuck around the bullshit for those three months. Right. But Jay, you don't got three months. Nope. You, got three <laughs> you got three milliseconds, man. You know, just to land back on that, to say that, you know, what we're doing is prophecy, all right? This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sion with him, a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay, and those hundred forty four thousand are the governing power structure of the nation of Israel starting with the elect, all right, which is 12,000 from each tribe, all right, from 12,000 from each tribe, from Judah all the way down to Issachar, all right, these are going to be the governing body of the kingdom of the nation of Israel, starting off, of course, with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Verse 2, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, <laughs> and as the voice of great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, right, which were, you know, the angels. And the elders and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. That song is what? It's talking about the gospel. It's talking about this truth, the good news, all right? Starting off with the name, all right, and also to tell our people to repent. This is the gospel. If you're hearing these, these sound waves right now through whatever device that you're listening to, all right, this is the gospel that's going to come out and going to be preached to our people in these last days. 
and it's gonna be sung as, as, as like it's up to a song because only the elect are gonna bop their heads to it, right. only the elect are gonna be able to dance with it, and it's gonna sound like strange noise to these two thirds and these heathens. Yeah, it's not gonna be a song where you know I'm singing the wrong part of the song, you singing a part of the song, you know, it's gonna be all the one music. Right. One of the old songs that you can just listen to over and over. Right, over. right. One of the songs you just keep, you know, bumping to right. over and over. You're like, yeah, this is my song. Wow, <laughs> oh, verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Right, they were spiritually pure. Okay, this is not mean a physical virgin. All right, this, that has nothing to do with sexual. All right, this is actually spiritual. Those who are not defiled by philosophies, all right, wicked ass doctrines. Okay, you got Egyptology that messed up Jake. All right, didn't number on Jake. Christianity didn't number on Jake. Uh, Muslims didn't number on Jake. Now they're worshiping rocks. But what we worship is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, right? And we are completely righteously brainwashed through these scriptures, man. Through this gospel. Because we have been virgins, right? We were not touched spiritually. These are they which follow the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, which wherever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Because the 144,000 right, were predestinated from the foundation of the earth to get salvation, all right? To receive uh, salvation, all right? To get saved out of the destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great, and as well as these other four corners of the earth. But the majority of the destruction that's coming to this earth is going to be in Babylon, which is America. All right, the majority of the, these 144,000 is going to come out of America, which is Babylon the Great. Verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Right, because we're not teaching you deceitness, man, like your Pastor Porchard. We're teaching you the truth. There's nothing coming out of our mouths right now that is a lie. All right, we are working right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai to tell you this truth. All right, the Holy Spirit, or the Rokhakwadash, is working within us to preach this word, all right? Because the Lord works through His men, all right? The mouth of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, uses His men, all right? We are the vessels that the Lord is using to teach this truth. Right, Verse 6, I got two more verses, and y'all both got it. And I saw an angel, another angel, fly in the midst of heaven, having the, ever, the everlasting gospel, to preach unto them because this truth this true, you know, this, this is an everlasting gospel. We're gonna still preach this word in the kingdom. We're gonna still teach this word in the kingdom, okay? We are, we're still gonna preach uh, uh teach the others, teach right. the nations. Right. We're not gonna, you know, teach our people. Right. 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 Having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. And that's going to happen right now, it's happening right now, and it's going to happen in the kingdom, all right, which is going to be established on earth, it's not going to be in heaven, all right, we're going to preach this gospel right now, and when Yahweh Shai comes back and establishes the throne on this earth, because we got to, like the Bible was saying, we got to teach these wicked ass heathens, man, how to righteously live, we're going to teach you not eat no damn cat, and if you do, guess what, you're going to be put in there, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, there's a point where I want to say, you know, to tie everything together, how I'm putting it to fear the Lord, which is prophecy. What we're doing now is prophecy. Saying with a loud voice, fear God, fear Yahweh, and give glory to Him, for the honor of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. So the elect, all right, starting with the 144,000, which are prophets being raised up in these last days, we're created right now to come in these last days to tell you to repent, come back to the Lord, and fear Him. Because if you don't repent, and if you don't do what the Lord's going to tell you to do, you will get judged, all right? And it's going to be through death by fire. You got it, brother. That's a lot. Yeah, right, man. We come out from the preach of fear. Because you know, there's a lot of people on the face of the earth that, that do not fear the Lord, man. You know, they just continue in wickedness. You know, they like doing what they doing, doing what they want to do. You know, and then, and, and then in Proverbs 1, they tell you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. As soon as, as, soon as you fear the Lord, you know, and, and you reference the Lord, there's certain things that you don't do anymore. You know, you're not going to go out and, and fucking go eat pork. You know, you're not going to go out and commit adultery. You know why? Because you, you might get judged for it. You know, and there's a lot of Christians, you know, out here that don't, and that, that don't fear the Lord. You know, they, they, they just do things, but okay, I'm just going to church. You know, and then, and then that's it. 
Right. No, man, the Lord does not work like that. You know? Uh, so, uh, Romans chapter. You got some on the so, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. Take talent, take heed. Right. Mm -hmm. 
take correction. Right. Which is why, you know, it's important for fathers, once again, we went into this earlier, for fathers to correct their sons. Because right. if you understand the whole the whole gist of it all, you come back into your whole your lineage. Right. So if you're not correcting your sons, what legacy are you coming back into, man? Right. Well, what what's the expectation of when you come back to the city of your son? You're gonna come back into bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Chaos. Because you allowed on, you allowed the chaos, now you come back into chaos. Come on, man. You know? <laughs> Playing around, man. It's all about legacy, man. Right. That's why we legacy. even we even had a law where uh, 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 a woman, if she if she uh, if she had a husband mm -hmm. and her husband died, but he didn't have any sons. What, what okay. The brother would have to raise up seed okay. to, to his brother's wife. Right. Because now if the wife had a son, right. then she would have been okay because that son could have raised up, could have continued the legacy. Right. But the fact that she didn't have a son, mm -hmm. the brother was going on to her to raise up seed to his brother right. to continue the seed. Which proves what? Reincarnation is reality. Right. You come back into the same, you come back in the flesh. Right. Energy, even Esau tells you, energy doesn't get destroyed. It just moves from one Right. Okay, there you go. No to another, right? You see what I'm saying to you? That's so, the spirit. The on, spirit man. doesn't get destroyed. No, the man. spirit goes back to the heavens. Right. The, 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 the vessels, your body, is what go into the ground and decay. You see? But those spirits go back to the Heavenly Father who gave it, man. That's right. Okay? He's the Father of spirits. That's right. Your spirit lives forever. There you go. That's why the scriptures say all, all live unto the Most High. Meaning right. those spirits. Right. All of because the spirits, the spirits don't die. They just go back into the spiritual realm right. Right. and rest until the third or fourth generation where they come back down again into a new vessel, into a new body. Right. That's why the scripture says in the most high, he's the God of the living. Okay? The God of the living. Not of the dead, the right. God of the living. Okay? Those that are on the earth with vessels and have a spirit in their body and the spirits that's in the spiritual realm. Okay, the, the bodies that's in the ground, they're decaying. They're, 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 those are just vessels, they're flesh. You see? Oh, please, sir. <clears throat> Ephesians 4, chapter 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Mm. And that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right. Okay. Okay. Conversation going into what? The behavior, man. Your, your, how you conduct yourself, man. Right. 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 The back here, well, now, which really starts off by repenting. You got to right. repent first. Which, when you go to the definition of repent, I believe it goes into having a deep regret of what you were doing before. You know, you're committing adultery, you're eating pork, okay, you were, um, you were doing all sorts of wickedness. Idolatry. Idolatry, all right. This goes on and on and on. Abominations. Hey, uh, hey which at one point was all guilty of that Yeah, shit. yeah, of course. You know saying, Abortion. Yes. Murder, covetousness, right. stealing, stealing, killing, robbing, mm -hmm. all types of you know. And as you know, in the in the and I why the Lord the Lord is so merciful. You know, all those sins and the Lord Lord forgive forgive them. But you come back to the truth, you know, and now you have brothers that are probably went through the same walk as you, you know, did different things that they don't dealt with, right? You know, they they come back to y'all by some other time, they can tell you, you know, where I used to do this, you know? And that's also why the Lord is famous too. You know, because he, he brings back our brothers from all walks, all walks of life. Yeah. You know, stealing, you know, you, you used to do all these wicked things. You know, you never come back to your brothers from all shot. Understanding that, hey, hey, I don't want to die, man. You know, we really, we both don't hurt of, 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 of the judgment of Babylon. You're like, no, I don't want to die. So what they do, you know, they, 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 they slap to your brothers from all shot. But they inquire, you know. And you got to have a change of mind, a change of heart. That's why the Lord told Nicodemus, you know, uh, 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 you can't go into the kingdom except you be born again. Right. You have to you have to have your, your brain literally washed. Right. Like our Romans right. 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Of the mind. It right. is a mindset. Right. right. You gotta you gotta put on a mindset. Right. Okay, this is uh the book of uh, uh Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12. Yep. It says, uh put put on therefore as the elect of the most high, holy and beloved bowels of mercies. 
kindness, humbleness of mind, right. meekness, long suffering, right. forbearing one another, forgiving one another. So when you was in the world, if you wasn't doing this, and when somebody stepped on your toe, you was you was ready to, to go to war. Right. But we have a different mindset now. We're not doing that anymore. Right. You step on my toe? Hey, sorry, sir. Sorry. Okay, keep moving on. Then I'll be brawlers. Right. You see? It says, um, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Moshiach forgave you, so also do ye. So we're following after our Lord. He's the model. It says, verse 14, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Right. You see, so that charity, the scripture even tells you how charity covered the multitude of sins, man. Right. So you got to be charitable, man. You know, you got to give alms. If the, if, the, if, the, if the spirit, uh, 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 your compassion move you to, you do it, man. And let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. You don't got to make a big scenery to give some arms, you know? See, so that like when you pray, you don't got to pray on the open for everybody to see you. Go in your closet, the scripture speaks about. Pray to him in private and the Lord's going to bless you openly, man. Your reward is going to come unto you openly. That you be seen of men, yeah. you know. We're not here to build a community. Right. No, man. Hey, as a matter of fact, we're here to be hated. Nation. <laughs> we're, nation. we're not here to build, build a community. We're not here to be. We're not here for that. We're here to build the elect. Right. <laughs> we're not trying to be the black, the, the fucking black panther. We're not trying to make a. We're not trying to be the black man, the fucking next black Wall Street. Yeah, we're not, not here for that. that. We done with you, nigga. You niggas gonna be niggas with it anyway. So we let's say we build a community with you niggas. What's gonna stop you from sleeping with my wife? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Oh, 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 you that's the spirit, niggas. You grimy, uh, 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 niggas. Air, black Air Force Ones, white Air Force Ones, wearing ass niggas. I ain't building nothing with you. Nothing. Quick precept. You fucking gremlin. Can't even trust him. You go ahead. You build you. We can build the, the, the most luxurious community. And then you're gonna ruin everything, everything from brother. sleeping with uh, 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 another uh, another brother wife. Right. You, 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 build, you build a community, you got these two guys. Yeah, we can we can put a whole drug operation in this country. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, bro. You niggas gonna fuck everything up. <laughs> hey, and then he'll go back and make a song about it. Right. Hey. You know, when, when, when you think about it, when you think about it, let's say let's say we build we build a fucking retarded ass community, right? Let's say we do it. We're gonna forget about the Lord. Oh, yeah, because yeah. the reason why we start and cry is because we're in this wicked ass society. That's right. right. Yeah. And we, I don't want that spirit to leave for me, boy. That's right. I don't want That's that right. spirit to leave for That's me. That's right. Man. I got a quick precept. Nope. And then if we was all together, you wouldn't really sigh and cry for the kingdom. Right. All, all together, you're you're utopia, right. Yeah. All together, you're well, wealthy. Yeah. Utopia. Your, your wife, your <laughs> wife is listening to <laughs> you. Paradise. You, know? yeah, you got money, we can see you. Nah, nah, fuck Babylon, destroy this shit. Right. We in that spirit. Right. You know? we, don't need, we don't need to build up a fucking community. That's why I said, give me my daily bread. Right. Yeah. Give me I'm what suffice for, right for the day. For the day, so that you don't you, you be, you know, worn and fucking more shit. Come on, man. Right, quick precept, this is our Luke chapter 6 and verse 26. It says, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Oh, I don't want that. For so did their Bishop fathers Nate. to the false prophets. Bishop Nate, the greatest, Bishop, the greatest man in on, Israel. Brother, yeah. on, on magazines, <laughs> network, hey, hey, interviews, podcasts. Right. Yeah. His, his fucking network, you can look up his network. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. The, best, the great yeah. Bishop. Let me read that again. <laughs> Luke, cha Luke chapter out, 6 and verse 26. It says, woe, woe means destruction or death. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. 
for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Ooh. See? So when you're out here doing things for men to see you and, you know, taking all these damn turkeys to the project and trying to big up yourself and all right. of this kind of stuff. And, hey, listen, hey, man. In order for people to like you, that means you got to be friends of the world. There okay. you go. I got to preach something back. Go ahead. James 4 and 4. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. There you go. So at the end of the day, look, we don't give a fuck if y'all don't like us. We're not here for, to be liked. We're right. here to preach the truth. Right. Right. The truth says to what? To depart from righteousness to become a prey. Right. Not trying to butcher it up. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. 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 So we're not, we're not here to be like, this is not a popularity contest. They didn't like the house. Okay. They called him a wine bibber, a glutton. Hey, you don't like the prophets in, in the vision, my voice. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Oh, John can't be the eating and drinking. You call him a thief, bro. They didn't, you know, they didn't like the prophets like that. So we we already got to run down. Right. I ain't like our bosses back then. Good. Don't like this. Y'all yeah, like wanted to kill them like this. Brother, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. I raw. They did. That's the spirit. We're going to say Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that killed the fucking prophets. All right. All right. I raw just did a video, a side lesson about, uh, you know, how they wanted to kill Jeremiah, man. They were devising how to kill Jeremiah. And you know how Jake fucking get, because Jacob, Jake wise to do wickedness, man. Jake probably was like, hey, we're going to do it this way. We're going to set it up this way. Because Jake wicked, man. All right? And Jake hate the prophets. Yep. Ultimately, you hate those that tell you the truth. Galatians 4 and 16. All right? Why do you hate me? Because I tell you the truth. We want Barabbas, all right? Let, let his blood be upon us and our children. Damn, you want your Howard Shai? You want your Howard Shai? Uh, uh, you, you don't fuck with your Howard Shai that bad? You, to the point, also, you want a murderer and a thief? You rather him be free? You got to check him. Yeah, no, brother. That's why, that's why they wanted me 20 years and, uh, and 60 years happened. That's why... The devil was able to have power. Hell, man. God damn. That's why the devil had power to put all these jakes in slave ships where they was consumed and what in the feet in the fecal matter and menstrual and menstrual blood. That's why so many thousands and thousands of jakes died just literally on the voyage from one side of the earth to the other side of the earth. That's why they chopped Jake's hands off when they couldn't get enough cotton. To bring to Esau, man. That's why they went to Ephraim and they ripped open her butt, her belly, her pregnant belly, and they grabbed the unborn child and they hung it upside down and they fed it to the dogs. It sounds it sounds graphic, but that's what happened. That is history. Because these wicked ass jakes, man. That's why we're not trying to build no damn community, man. And I don't want no community. I want the earth. I want the earth. I want to be a king on this earth, man. And Lord willing. So you can't have a community with Jake, man. Well, Esau's gonna break all his laws and regulations over there. You know, well, you're gonna have to pay property tax. You're gonna have to pay insurance on this shit. You know, you're not gonna really enjoy the community. You can't. I mean, and, 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 and Yahweh Shah is still gonna come back. You can be the community right now. <laughs> He's still gonna come back. He's gonna destroy y'all. He's gonna destroy you and your community. Right, right. Fuck you, want to think, I'm gonna I'm a create a community all the way in fucking Canada. Right, you can keep it clear because when you think they're good, y'all can go come and steal all that shit. You gotta understand, look, we're not put we're not put on this earth to build communities and play with our children. Ooh, goo goo ga ga, you know, beach days and shit. We're put on the earth to serve. We're put in cap uh, here in America to serve captivity. There you go, all right? Water, bro. We get we get to live life later. We're not we're not supposed to even be living life here. Our life is not here. Our life is with Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're gonna live life with Yahweh shot as well. This ain't fucking life. You gotta see Teslas and fucking cars and uh, 
uh, detour signs and parking signs in this scorching heat. You guys see niggas walking down the street being niggas. You guys see graffiti on, on, on poles. All right. Yeah, I want fucking half naked and shit. Right. No, but yeah, but you want Jake want to stay here? Kim trails in the fucking air. Fake clouds. Esau make fucking clouds, man. Yep. But you want to build machine. a community in here. What you got here? Yeah, you got to shut shit up. You know, they got a machine. They got a machine that, that makes clouds. You know, when they want when they want to rain. But 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 fucking Jake want this want this society to continue. It, it's just like you you you, you your dad. Right. You know, and, and like I always say, it's like your dad. You put your son in time off and fucking go go face the wall. You know what? You know because he did something bad. The nigga dancing. Fucking, he's yeah. dancing in the corner having a fucking great time. You know what I'm saying? He's trying, he's trying to play right. around. And, and, and that's all Jake is. The Lord don't put your ass in timeout. You on punishment. But here it is. You, you trying to make the most of punishment. No, man. And punishment is when you're supposed to realize what the fuck you did wrong. Right. right. That's when you realize, oh, shit. I fucked up. Yep. Right? You know, you go, oh, you fucking get a beat. And then you try to laugh and shit. That shit ain't funny, man. You fuck. Yo, 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 dad beating your ass with a belt. And then he making jokes. Right. You trying to make that shit fun. Fuck out of here, man. You got a joke. To back up uh, us, Ward. This is Romans 8, 17. And them children and heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs of the Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Good point. Now you got it, you got it. I say, we're going to be joint with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom, man. Because here we cannot, we cannot survive. We cannot, we can't, matter of fact, we cannot live here. Okay? We're just, right. we're just surviving, living day by day, check by check. Okay? So our, our rulership, our, our lively living is going to start when we start, when we, when we, when we y'all was shy, man. Okay? We're not looking for a, a continuation to captivity 2.0. Right. Babylon. That'll be Babylon 3.0. Because Babylon 2.0 is going to America. Right. I don't want no fucking Babylon 3.0. Man, give me the kingdom of Yasharala. Now. I need it, I need it now. Give me the kingdom of Yasharala. Hamalakwaf, the kingdom. All right? Hamalakwaf, the kingdom, Yasharala, the kingdom of Israel, man. All right? Right. You're supposed to be ruling, man. Right. You see the condition of the earth? You, you cannot you cannot look at... Wait, say something, something? No, go ahead, bro. You cannot look at the earth and be like, okay, okay, this, this looks good. The, wa the, the, the water's polluted. He's still talking about global warming. Okay, the animals, right, animals right. are turning into momos. Right. In, the animals are in sneaking. I don't know if that's worth but getting it, getting it stink. Right. I don't know how. I don't know how that happens. Because you're walking on crunky all day. The music has a uh, frequency where it lowers your vibe, lowers, right. it, lowers you. Hey, okay. You got, you got, you got uh, a, a turtle got HIV, bro. Right. <laughs> how the turtle got HIV, bro? And animals innocent. The animals turtles. don't grow. What you got it up? Got the animals innocent. The animals don't do nothing at all. They just eat. Oh, they hunt. They go to sleep and they do it over yeah. again. They worship the Lord. Right. <laughs> they do what they was meant to do. Yeah. Hey, but look, man. Hey. Yes, somebody grab Romans 8, Bubba Kasha. All right? Because, hey, man, the creation, the creation grown up, man. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, bro. It's Romans 8 and started, uh... Yeah, we supposed to want this king. I should have kept going, 18. We supposed to want this king, though, all this bullshit going, yeah. going on. Motherfucker, rocking half naked, but we supposed to walk. And then you can't say nothing about it, too. You know, you just, you just gotta let it happen. <laughs> you know, and then... And, <laughs> and then we supposed to want this kingdom. Like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> so we can see you on for Romans 8, might as well. He said, so far I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. Actually, what we're going to do now is not going to be compared with what we're going to receive in the kingdom. Right, because we're going to receive so much, all right, it's not going to be, be able to be, uh, to be compared, man. All right, we're going to receive everlasting life. Imagine never dying. You can't imagine that with this weak ass mind. Never dying, that's one thing that's mighty already. That's all mean. right? Having riches, having wisdom, all right? Knowing knowing all uh, knowing all things to a certain extent, all right? And etc. 
everything we're about to receive in the kingdom will not be able to even it, you can't even put on the same scale with the hell and the shit that we go through in this world, bro. It's gonna overpower it way too much, bro. You know? Right. Yeah, that's why it's your eyes not seen, or ears not heard what the Lord has to bear for us. You know, because there's gonna be so much that you know our minds right now cannot process. So you want you want to try to think of what the Lord got for you. And then what the Lord got, got for you is gonna surpass what you're thinking about. Yeah. You gotta understand. It, 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 it's a spiritual in your being giving you everything, you know, right. and more. Right. Hey, the, the thoughts that come to our minds, brothers, just know that the Lord just threw you a couple crumbs to think about. Right. He, 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 he on a whole nother level. He just threw you a couple crumb, oh. crumbs to meditate upon. And you're like, man, that's hard. But trust me, it's going to be way better. You got to understand, this is the most high. The, is, the Israelite of all Israelites. You know, <laughs> okay. Like, you know, that's like, yeah, I would tell you, you know, y'all want to tell you, hey, stop talking thinking about it. It's a, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. All right, so even even to the animals, the animals waiting for us to come into power. Yep. Okay, because mm -hmm. they know that that we supposed to be in power, man. Yeah. All right. Okay, because animals are spiritual. Man. They're not just you know something that Esau could experiments on and etc. Animals are right. spiritual. They know when something's wrong wrong in the earth. That's right. Look, look at your dog, you know, when you get your, your dog be at home, as soon as the dog know that somebody walked by or somebody at the door, it's, it, 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 it's already, it's, or walking by the door, it's already know what's up, right. you know? Right. Hey, these animals want to be freed, man. Go, look at the zoo, bro. Look at the zoo, look at the lion. Bro, I went to the zoo one time with the family. Hey, the lion is literally just running around in circles, man. Running around in circles. Why? Because he wants to be free. You have an article that came about the or the orca that got taken from from his from uh, uh, his or her family at a young age and put into fucking Sea World. Yeah, I think it's still there to the school. Come on, man. It's in Miami now. They they, they have an orca just swimming, and then the, the, the shit is just closed. They got the shit just swimming in the pool. And in the uh, these animals are not at peace, man. The animals are not at peace. The earth is not at peace. It's good to say in Isaiah 14. Hey, the earth shall be at rest. The earth is not at rest right now because they're wicked bear rule. All right? Esau is dragging the earth down. He's he's destroying the earth. All right? <laughs> if that shit was true, you know how uh, when, we were, when we were younger, they, they showed on Instagram or different uh, or, uh, different websites and stuff about uh, the earth decaying and turning gray. In a couple right. of years, the earth is going to be just uh, proof gone. Right. We right. understand... Hey, back then we we were sad, but we understand. Hey, the earth abided forever, but we understand what this devil is doing to the earth as well, man. He's destroying it. Okay, he's not giving the earth no rest. All right, mm -hmm. but rest is coming for the earth. Rest is coming for the animals. The animals are gonna be at peace. We are gonna be at peace. The heathens gonna be at peace. Right. But that all comes with the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the Israelites, man. Hey, that bag says pro plan, man. Hey, we're the pros, man. Okay. We next, man. I got something to back you up. <clears throat> Second Peter chapter three, verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, or we, the Israelites, starting with the elect, all right, according to His promise, whose promise? The ha Yahweh Shai's promise, all right, which is coming back for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Okay. Look for new heavens. And a new earth. Yo, bro, what's the entrance to this? Okay, Listen, sorry. man, you don't see that we're talking about, bro? Oh, but it's a question, bro. You gotta Jay. say, excuse me. Because Jay. Jay. Jay got no fucking you niggas, man. Ooh. Keep reading, keep reading, read again, huh? Let me start from the top because we had uh, somebody interrupt us. Niggas. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Okay. Right. Nevertheless, we. <laughs> Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, Look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, so we're looking for a new rulership, all right? We're looking for Yahweh Shai's rulership, which is going to be established on this earth, all right? What is the heavens talking about? It's talking about rulership power, okay? But we want that transfer of power 
from this wicked ass devil Esau to our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, which is gonna govern this earth. Okay, so we want the earth to be established back in righteousness, man. How it's supposed to be. All right, all these wicked ass buildings, all this damn traffic, these haunt, everybody honking and shit. We got trees that's supposed to be thirty times the size. We want, we want, we want the kingdom, man. That's right. That's what we want. I got uh, in the blue letter. When you go into the word new, it goes into new as respect form. Recently made, fresh, recent, unused, unworn, as a spec substance of a new kind, unprecedented, novel, uncommon, unheard of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so the kingdom that's, that's uh, coming into play is going to be, you know, fresh, basically, man. Something unheard right. of. Because people don't, people don't even think about, okay, how how how, uh, how how good the earth is really supposed to be. Right. They think that earth is just supposed to be like this. Okay? <laughs> the earth is really just suffering, man. Yes. The earth is suffering. Because yes. you're, you're choking the roots of the plants. You got right. concrete that's surrounding it. So there's mm -hmm. plants being broke where you cut, and you're cutting them down at the same time. Okay? And putting concrete over the ground. Okay? What do you think that does to the earth? Yeah, con concrete is wicked, man. But it's, it's plastic throughout this whole wicked kingdom. Right. Yeah. And even us, we're supposed to be bigger and stronger. Yep. Taller. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're suffering too, man. All these aches and pains, the minerals are not in the soil. Yeah, I mean, yeah man, keep growing on we're the land Sabbath. So we, we're, we're in the jam right now. And we need the Lord to come and deliver us. Our woman, our whores. See, in the kingdom, our woman, they gonna, any woman that's a, 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 a woman that get delivered, she's gonna have a new box. Right. Okay. Once you get uh, beamed up in the chairs, you got a fresh start, baby. Re reset. You gonna you gonna be the Lord is gonna give you a fresh start. Yeah, new bodies. That is a that is a version. You have a new body. Yes. And it's gonna be untouched, and it's only gonna be touched by one Israelite man right. for eternity. Right. eternity. <laughs> only one man. Right. This is good news. Yep. That's right. Only this is good news. Yeah, man. One man in in all eternity is gonna have sex with you. Right. Unheard mm -hmm. of. Unheard of. Man, you're not gonna, you're not that's gonna music to my ears. You're not going to look at another man and say, oh my gosh, I want him. Right. No, you're not going to do that. No, no, you're you're, your eyes are going to be fixed on that one man for yep. eternity. Yep. And you can't wait until he get you back inside your you. sister wives. <laughs> that's good news, man. And you Christians acting like you don't talk about these things, but behind closed doors, you guys are doing all manner of wickedness. Right. <laughs> so don't sit here and act like this ain't good news. You people are a bunch of hypocrites, man. That's right. And that's why the Lord is going to judge y'all when he gets back. He, The Lord hates a hypocrite. Read the Bible, man. Uh, um. I got it. Yes, sir. No, you got it. You got it. Romans 8 and, uh, back in Romans 8 and 20, it says, For the creature was made to subject to vanity, was made, su was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subject, subjected the same to hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. All right, we can represent that creature, man. Yeah. Okay, that's us. Right. Yeah, we, that is right. Esau will never be uh, rescued from its corruption. Or the heathens. They won't be rescued from corruption. They're always going to be in corruptible bodies. They're always going to sin. That blessing was only for the Israelites. Right. Um, it says, for we know that the whole creature, so like the whole creation, Growing up and travailing and paying together until now. Okay, hey, we signed in Christ to the Yahweh Shema Shada, you know, to come and set order and set righteousness in the earth. Okay, so as you know, Isaiah the 14th chapter, okay, when basically when Esau is taken out of power, the whole earth is uh, basically quiet. Yeah. Alright, rest. Great yeah. right. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna get it. That's right. Isaiah 14, uh, let me start at 4. It says, The thou shall take up this proverb against the king against the king of Babylon and say, How had the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Make it mockery. That's a rhetorical question. Read that again. It says, The, the thou, Isaiah 14 and 4, and 144. <laughs> <laughs> that thou should take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How had the oppressor ceased? We're going to be like, Damn, how you fell out of power, bro? In high school, you was the man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Esau, you were just a billionaire. Now you don't own anything. Yeah. Making mockery of the Edomites. It says, the Lord Yahweh had broken the staff of the wicked 
<laughs> and the scepter of rulers. We're gonna be mocking these damn devils. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They was mocking us. Yep. All right. We're gonna mock them right back. Uh he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Mm. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. That's Esau, man. Yep. A right. continual stroke, never stopping. Mm-hmm. This devil's the hammer of the earth, he's the bully of the earth, man. Yep. You go into different nations, take your resources, and then say you bad. Okay? Well, we're gonna do that to him in the kingdom. Right. After we, we whoop your ass, we're gonna say, damn, where the military at? Damn, where the police? Where your policemen at? Where the mm -hmm. Marines? Damn, where the Marines, bro? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody here to help you. Mm -hmm. We better not talk back, too. <laughs> you know Esau gonna talk back. Okay. Esau wasn't created to be righteous. Yeah, exactly. So you know he gonna talk back. We're gonna always have people to whoop. We're gonna always have punching bags in the kingdom. Always. Because yep. we're, we're the only people that's gonna be righteous. So we're always gonna have judgment to execute people to beat, punch on, and beat on. <laughs> hey, and sometimes we gonna need that. <laughs> you know, just. Yeah, you gonna whoop somebody yeah, ass. Right. Hey, go see who whooped him. Yeah, go see who sent it. Go see who sent it. We're gonna whoop your ass, man. For the fun of it. For the fun of it. Mm. <laughs> it says uh six verse. I know you have a shot waiting on it. Oh six. yeah. That's hey, that, that that's a part of our blessing. Yep. What what does the scripture say? Thou thy brother shall bow down unto thee, and, and what does it say? The, um many people shall serve thee. Mm -hmm. So right. hey man, that's our blessing. That's one of our blessings, is to, to have servants right, and to okay. rule them with a rod of iron. You, you ain't blessed to be down, servants. That's right. That's the thing. We need servants to be blessed. Isaiah 14 and uh, 7. The whole earth is at rest mm -hmm. and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Right, so, hey, the earth is going to be at, at peace. Okay? And, you, and hey, the people will know it, man. Okay, that, that new refreshed earth and that new rulership. You gonna feel like okay the earth feeling earth feel new. Okay. Well, well it is gonna feel right. Great. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be new because you heathens are gonna renew our earth for us. Right. Mm -hmm. well, you're never gonna have to pick up anything again, brothers. Right. Ever. So oh shit, sure, drop my 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 gold cup. Oh, uh, Esau, <laughs> please my, uh, my favor. Well, before the cup drop, he better fucking uh, uh, die. Right. <laughs> oh, he better sit his master. <laughs> oh, my lord, my lord. <laughs> no. come, my lord. I ain't picking uh, shit up in the kingdom. Right. <laughs> I ain't bending over. I ain't pouring shit. I ain't fixing shit. Right. Yep. Hey, all that requires <laughs> energy. Man. That's work. <laughs> we don't want to work. Hey, we we rest. Brothers ain't do it. Well, you see an Israelite picking up, so we're gonna say, What the fuck? Right, right. But where's your service, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. Right, where's right. your service, brother? We're gonna beat your service <laughs> as if we see you hey, picking up hey, something, bro. But ain't that what Esau did? Yeah. yeah. According to Esau, we were like an accessory, like a purse well, well, or, or a book right. bag or something. Yeah. You, know what you seen the pictures of Esau putting his feet on top of us? Yeah. 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 Footrest for him. Yeah. Okay. Our woman was come buckets to him. He had our way with us. Right. Yeah. Our woman had to fix him his plate. And whatever he didn't want, that's what he fed us. You devils are guilty, man. And if you Jake trying to save this fucking devil, you gonna get the same, the same judgment he gonna get, you won't get it too. You gonna get it. I'm more mad at you niggas, because Esau was created to do this. Right, right. You niggas, see, you, I, I'm a, I can't wait till the Lord give us power. I'm gonna fuck you niggas up. And I know he gonna give us power. I know he is. Uh, uh, this is uh, 2 Andrews 8 and 52. For unto you is paradise open. Woo, the tree of life is planted. The time is time the time to come is prepared. Plenty is, is made ready. The city is builded and rest is allowed. Yay, perfect goodness and wisdom. Alright, so hey, we're gonna be we're gonna be at rest, man. Okay, that's the back of the brother Kabar. We ain't picking up nothing, we ain't working. All we working with it when we the kings of the earth. Okay, when we the judge of the earth, who we working for? Shit. In the kingdom, I'm retired. That's right, man. Y'all haven't seen y'all haven't seen arrogancy yet. Nah, they ain't so. Oh, the scriptures say you shall boast yourselves. So, brothers, be prepared to uh, look down upon the heathen. Oh, in the kingdom. <laughs> we're gonna be prepared. Bro, <laughs> oh, look, we're, we're gonna be the head. They're gonna be the tail. Right. Be prepared. Oh, to look, right. look, look, look at them in disgust. They do it to us. 
Look, look at this. Look at this eater bike. <laughs> this, this mother, this mother ever. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to be somewhere in the field, boy? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know? Come on over here. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at this eater, eater bike. Hey, that's, 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 that's the spirit, That's the spirit, man. Oh, oh, we, there's a job for all type of little, uh, little right. eater mites. Yep. Right. Stuff on them grapes. <laughs> Pour wine, it's gonna be plenty of work for Esau. Right. And the heaters. Yeah, yeah. Hey, have, hey, live it up. That's what I was gonna say. Rejoice, eat them. Like, the Lord telling you to have fun, because right. this shit about to get very bad for yeah, you, it's man. It's about to get real. Because brothers just said they ain't, they, ain't, they ain't bending over, picking up nothing. Right. right. It's, it's a that. lot of work to be hey, done, boy. Uh, and hey, G, I gotta back you up, because before y'all brothers was done with y'all side lesson, I had mentioned, hey, the things that we think about, we meditate upon, those are just little crumbs that the Lord throws to us. Um, the Lord weighs, his, his mindset and his ways are higher than us. So, hey, the Lord throwing us little crumbs, and we already like, hmm, this this sounds good. Imagine w what the Lord really has in store, yeah. what's really in his mind, you know? We gonna eat, the Lord's going to far exceed. Yeah, 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 yeah that's the spirit. spirit, man. That's the spirit, man. <laughs> Earth. Earth, hey, I like yeah. that shirt. We got earth. earth for them all. That's right, the earth, baby. Right. The earth is ours. It's a Christ. Hey, call it all you, man. Earth is ours. That's right, 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 man. That, <laughs> hey, you devils belong to us. <laughs> hey, we the friends of God. Right now, we, we the we, sons of God. We just have a whole bunch of just uh, slaves on the loose right now. <laughs> <laughs> all these people belong right. to us, man. Start right. with you. How was shy, man? That's right. The yeah. fuck? The world's been for our sakes. That's why we can claim you uh, damn slaves right now. That's right. Because we're going to get y'all. We know we're going to get y'all. Yeah. Right. Some of our slaves just walk past. Yep. Yeah. Keep walking around. Well, they no, keep walking no, past. That's not right. Slavery is wrong. Oh, but we can go into slavery and it'd be right, though, right? Oh, so long ago. Oh, oh and so called Christopher Columbus Day is Monday. Oh, okay. Wow. Or Monday. Uh, Psalms 2 and 8. And oh, another thing, too, Christopher. Uh, Christopher uh, Columbus killed a lot of you people, Jake. All right, he killed a lot of your, your people. You know, just letting you know that. Uh, you got away with it too. Hey, but you know what? That happened a hundred years ago, brother. We should forgive and just move on, brother. Nah, <laughs> nah. God ain't gonna forgive. God never gonna oh, forgive. Why the they, fuck would I forgive? They gonna try and uh, attach Indigenous Peoples Day. You devils uh, are guilty. Uh, right, right, you right. devils! How dare you, man? That's right, an insult right. to you. To, to us, man, right, right. to put Indigenous Peoples Day after that devil done slaughter uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of our people. Right. Yes. Him and his damn uh, Edomite devil friends. Yep. Showing you, showing you, they trying to hide. They trying to hide. No, from all no, the we don't want none of that June team no, shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no operations. No, no, no is coming back. The conquering. No. Lying from the tribe of Judah is still That's coming right. back. Right. Yeah. Right. And, Captivity, and, baby. And we Captivity. don't want none of those. You can take down the statue. We don't give a fuck. We don't want that. Yo, devil ass is going to slave you. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, the book of uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. That's the spirit, my brother. It says, if any man of an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Woo. We know the saints, the saints are patiently waiting to put you devils into captivity to how you had us, man. That's right. right. And what does that represent? Perfect fucking balance, man. There you go. The Lord truly says that a, a false balance is a, an abomination to the heavenly Father, right. man. So what you did, what you did to us, is right and just for us to do it to you. That's right. That's right. All right, you know, hey, no one of you brothers and sisters edify, you know, to end off this camp. You know, ain't want to give our praises to. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, and Crack with us. Double honor to our false and elders, a great motion that taught us his truth. Peace and blessings to the children that pushes the truth. Call me out to water. 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 You know, we want to say what we want to say, but we got next. That's right, man.